today with the news of the first ever IVF, IVF lottery launching in Britain this month, which gives people the chance to win IVF treatment. The game sees players buy £20 tickets online, with the winner receiving £25,000 worth of fertility treatments at one of the country's leading clinics. Profits will go towards To Hatch, uh, a support charity for couples who experience problems conceiving. But various critics have questioned the morality of this approach, approach to conception. So uh, what do you think, ladies? Is there anything wrong with a lottery-style approach uh, to fertility treatment? Um, oh, we've all gone very quiet. We're looking at you. Um, <laughs> well, do you know what? I just think um, I've been very lucky and I've been able to conceive naturally and, and it was never a, a question in my mind that I wouldn't. And I so desperately wanted children and, and I have friends who've had IVF treatment who have been so desperate and would do anything, but it is very, very, very expensive and after so many tries they have had to give up. So for me, if this is something that can maybe help them um, again and give them hope, then I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And if, and if the money is going towards, um, you know, research into fertility problems and stuff, then I don't see why it's a problem. My problem with it is that the lottery in itself, uh, the ordinary lottery, I think, is basically unfair. You might as well burn your money and chuck it or chuck it out of the window for all the chance you have of winning. And, you know, research has shown that in the lottery, it's the people with the least money to spend, the least uh, lowest form of disposable income that spend the most money on the lottery. And I wonder, I worry that the same thing might happen again, that people who don't have a lot of money to burn anyway, who can't afford IVF treatment, uh, put their £20 in week in and week out, and the chances of winning are so pitifully low. Mm. And the second thing that really bothers me is that the IVF treatment in this country is a lottery anyway. Yeah. It depends on where you live. It's a postcode lottery because some sections of the country, NHS trusts, don't offer IVF, and in some other places they do. Mm. So. I think it would be a better solution if the whole business of IVF was taken away from the NHS and the government set up some kind of foundation so everybody had an equal Early, chance. Because yeah. at the moment they seem to be shirking their responsibility. And I don't who think... would make the decisions then on who gets it anyway? Well, I think it would be done in a fairer way because at the moment there isn't a level playing field. If you're desperate enough, you know, you want a baby, I completely understand that. IVF treatment can't be just dished out by some places and not by others. Mm. That just is, we all pay taxes and we all pay NA, uh, or, for the NHS. It just doesn't seem yeah, right. Or win it in a competition. That's what it feels, that's, that, that's how it feels so wrong to me, just to using the word, word lottery in the same sentences. IVF, you know, people struggling for babies. What worries me, um, apart from, the, you know, the word cheapening the whole process for me, I think that, you know, there are some people that are, are dreamers out there and they dream about winning the lottery. And, you know, I know some people that write down, oh, I'm going to spend this and I'm going to spend that. You know, that's just going to add to their misery when they don't win. And that, that's my worry. Psychologically, I don't think it's a good thing. But I what really about don't. for the couples that, that do win, that mm. do have a £25,000 opportunity to um, further their chances of becoming parents? What they're offering here is, uh, what they're, they're saying is, that if the IVF doesn't work, well, then we'll look at egg donations for you. Or if that doesn't work, we'll look at surrogacy. Mm. So if you do win this lottery prize, um, they will stick with you for the whole journey mm. and, and Fabulous offer, for the winners offer case. I suppose, Fabulous. Yeah, but somebody really has to win bad it. for the people that aren't winning. Mm. And I know what you're win. saying about the lottery, Janet, Jan and the chances, but I would guess that a lot fewer people will be playing this than they would be um, any other kind of kind of cash reward. Um, well, they're going to extend it, not just to, uh, you know, couples, but to gay, uh, gay couples too. They're going to extend it outside the UK. So don't but think it's only going to be a few thousand people, because it isn't. But already the NHS are giving opportunities to single parents, for example, single women, mm. to have IVF. Uh, there was a case just last week in the newspapers. Um, and I agree with, entirely with what you're saying, Zoe. I think by the time you reach IVF, you are already in Very a kind desperate, of desperate yes. state of mind. Yeah. And the one thing that would worry me is how this would kind of play with your emotions, because I think actually a lot of the time, 
the stress that you put on yourself when you're trying to conceive and you're not contributes to you not conceiving. Yes. Would you would you yeah, concede that? Absolutely. Do you think that yeah. that is is yeah. is something that is, is as ineffective as not as a blocked tube? Mm. But I think that can really. But set I can't back. see how it can be preferable for a private company. Okay, it's a charity to run something as um, fundamentally important as the right to human life. I'm sorry. I think it's something that the NHS should have been running, but hasn't run it properly and now should be set, you know, taken outside the NHS and set up on a special foundation. Every woman in this country who wants to have a baby should have an equal right. She shouldn't have to buy a lottery ticket mm, to yeah. get one step, you know, nearer than the next person. Yeah. Absolutely. OK, well, that's what we think. What do you think of the IVF lottery? Are you worried by the moral implications or do you think that it offers hope to those who really need it? Get in touch by going to our website. You can email us loose.women at itv.com or you can uh, get in touch on our Facebook and Twitter sites, but make sure you get your comments in today by 1.15, that's the 6.15.